the Facebook side. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. How are you all? I was just saying to our friends here on Instagram that um, what a time, you know, what a time it's been. It feels it's been really quite heavy, hasn't it? So we've got some lightness. We've also got a bit of shade, light and shade, I guess is always the same in life, isn't it? It's all about balance, but mostly light, literal light too, actually. So I'm going to be talking to Lily, my eldest, in just a moment. But for those of you who saw my Instagram post earlier today, I actually put up just a little tease to the things that I'm going to be talking about today. I put up the three things that I think are essential for when you do online, like we're doing now, like a, a live chat or doing a Zoom chat or a you know, WhatsApp call or a Google Hangout or whatever it is that you're doing. And I think, let's face it, even though we are, please God, shortly to be released from lockdown, the fact that we have got this amazing technology now and that we can all save so much time on traveling and just connect so much more easily means that these kind of Zoom type calls are never going to go away. So how do we put our best face forward, literally? So the three things that I do always, and it takes me like, I don't know, one minute or less okay so I woke up this morning and my hair is all as you can see it's all a bit fuzzy and a bit out of shape but I use GHD and straighteners and I literally do like two pieces each side just to give it a bit of a that I don't bother with the back so you know I'm gonna have to start thinking again maybe when I go back out into the real world because people then will see the back of my head. But, you know, frankly, do I care? Is life a bit too short for that? To be worrying about what the back of our head looks like? So you just go down it like that, and it's just literally that. So instantly, it looks as if, oh, I had a really lovely hairdo. Of course, I haven't. And then the same, this side, if I can do it here. I did actually do a tutorial on... YouTube, which you can see, which is how I do my hair, because um, I've had a lot of comments and requests. So it's a kind of a twist. Do you see using a straightener as a little twisty thing? And because I've got my parting, I might need to do three sections here, but honestly, and I think of all the hours that I used to sit in a hairdresser's. <laughs> You know, having my hair blow dried and tonged or curled with curlers or whatever. And um, yeah, there you go. So it's just kind of that, literally. Um, and yeah, I mean, I could do a bit more if I wanted, but that's kind of it, really. The second thing that I always do and always have is this is a Beauty Pie Universal Blusher. It's called Bad Girl. Not me at all, obviously, but it's a really nice sort of warm, corally terracotta colour. And I just literally use it. You can use it on um, normal, just clean skin. Or you can use it over the top of your makeup, you know, foundation powder. Just use it just again here, sort of where the, the sun might hit you. Um, and cheekbones just to warm up the face really, a little bit under here, just to make you look not, you know, deathly grey, which is kind of somehow um, how you can look, you know, on the screen. It just gives a little bit of natural warmth and you just sort of feel a bit, bit brighter. So that is my secret weapon, that's Beauty Pie. Don't forget, we do have a free month if anybody's not a member of Beauty Pie, if you want to join, because it's so cheap. Once you're a member, you pay five or 10 pounds a month and then you have access to all their things, amazing, at cost price. So it's just a few pounds. I mean, it's amazing. They do makeup brushes and really fab skincare and makeup and candles and fragrance and everything. Love them. So just use Liz Loves as your code, all in capitals, and then you get your first month free. So you can try it, but no, you know, no cost. So that's what I really enjoy and love. Got loads of Beauty Pie things. Um, and then the other thing, which I put on my Instagram, is this little gadget. This is transformation. I've always said it's all about the light. So this is a little clip on. Do you see it's got a little bulldog clip like that? You clip it onto the top of your, whatever you're using, you know, you could clip it onto the top of your iPad like that if you want. 
um, or the top of your laptop just by the camera and then it's got a little button here which just adjusts the lighting which I can talk about because I've also got a slightly bigger one here as well if you want to have something on a stand so I thought what we would do is we would get a real digi techie guru to talk to us about all of this because there's just so much going on isn't there online in the digital world and you know I guess I'm of a generation where I didn't grow up with it but I do know somebody who did so we're going to welcome my lovely Lily on and I'm going to have a chat to her about all sorts of techie things so if you've got techie questions then you know she really is um, just so brilliant at that she does so many genius digital films she hasn't been doing so much recently because she hasn't been feeling so well um, but she you know when she puts them up they're really really clever actually just something else I'm going to use very briefly I've just seen that um, I could do with a bit of lippy so I'm going to use this is my doctor lip wasn't that great last week um, talking with Pontine who's the founder so we do still have the discount by the way whoops at dr lip this is the one that I like well, I like all of them, actually, but this is sweet potato. So sweet potato and lanolin. And that just gives you just a little hint of colour, you know? Just a little hint of something. Well, the lanolin is really just so moisturising. She also showed us these, actually. This is a really great little duo from them. It's the CBD which was fascinating, wasn't it, hearing about how healing that can be from the skin. I know I had lots of comments afterwards actually saying, um, sorry Lil, I will be with you in just a sec, um, to say that you know, using it on little patches of eczema and dermatitis could be really good. And then this is the one where you get the tint. So this is also a really nice tint, this one. There you go. So this is tinted with beetroot. Just show you, I'll pop it. This is slightly darker, which is really nice, but not too much. You know, it's still, you can see the difference. Mm. Nice. And you're just eating anthocyanins, aren't you, in your beetroot um, while conditioning your lips. So grab that. That's got Liz Loves for 15% off. Right, let's see if we can get um, Lil. Uh, is she on here? Amaryllis Earl. Oh. A.K.A. Lily Earl. Yeah, Amaryllis is her real name. Yeah, she's Amaryllis. Just like the flower, like my beautiful, tall, blooming flower, which is what she is at the moment. Hello, darling. So lovely to see you and have you here. I'm just going to turn up my volume. There we go. Hopefully. Yeah, that's that's great. I can hear you really well now. Sadly, our friends on Facebook and YouTube um, can't see the beauty that is Lily. Where are you, sweetheart? I recognise that. Studio. Oh, I was going to say I recognise the curtain fabric. <laughs> <laughs> How are my studios? Are they are they safe and well? Sorry. Are, are they safe and well? No, no burst pipes or anything. Oh, your studios. Oh, yes, they're fine. They're fine. Good. There's a bit of rubble over there, but it's okay. It's nothing to worry about. So, have you been working in there? Have you been doing digi stuff? I should say yes, but no, I came here just, I came here because your internet is so good. The Wi-Fi so. is, is, is good, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, before we talk about all the um, kind of lovely techie stuff, I just feel that we can't really, we, we really should acknowledge some of the things that have been happening over the weekend, um, because for me as a mum, and I know it has resonated with a lot of people uh, you know, you you live in southwest London. You you walk the same walk that poor Sarah Everard walked through Clapham Common. You're often yep. out walking on your own. Yep. You know, you're 30. You're a very similar age. You know, it. Uh, my heart goes out, as all of our hearts do, to the friends and family of of Sarah. And I'm really okay. dreading actually the next few days and weeks, as I'm sure more details are revealed. I'm just so not going to be able to listen to the news I know at all um but um but from your perspective I remember talking to you on I think it was Friday you were intending to go to the vigil weren't you I was yeah I was until it was cancelled due to the breakdown of talks with the Metropolitan Police yeah because it sounded to me that the organizers reclaim the streets who I follow now actually on on Instagram because they seem like a really good and interesting group um mm. although it's early days obviously um 
you know, it sounded as if they had it very well organised. They'd organised COVID marshals. Everything was going to be very socially distanced. Everybody in masks, you know, very yeah. quiet and respectful. It was not a protest. It was a vigil. So, yeah. so yeah. what happened then? So you you got a notification to say, uh, you know, don't go because it's yeah, the so met. Me saying that it had been cancelled and they did a doorstep vigil. Um, they happened up and down the country, not just in London. And um, and they said that basically the police threatened the organisers and anyone who turned up with um, fines up to £10,000 and imprisonment under um, the Serious Crimes Act. And, um, but, and so instead what happened, and I really do strongly believe that Friday night, no, sorry, Saturday night, yeah. and the chaos that ensued and um, the pictures that we've seen of the police, you know, pinning people down and arresting them and stuff would not have happened. No, I... I... Peaceful, static, it was also going to be static, so no one could yeah. move around. Spaced out vigil was a, would have been allowed to happen. As we saw up and down the country. Yes. Where, exactly. where other local police forces absolutely no problem i mean it, it does yeah. it does defy belief and i i was actually listening to women's hour this morning um and they had some really good people talking about it including the former head i think of the manchester police sir peter farley who said oh, that you know actually it's up to the police force's discretion and the police officer's discretion you know i know they're following oh. ridiculous covid laws um, yeah. Which is putting them in that position, but when we're not going to get political here. We're not. We're not going to go no. off on one because it, it would be easy to do. Yeah, initially they said yes, and it was signed off by Lambeth Council, which is where the bandstand yeah. is, and yeah. all of that. And it was all. And then they turned around and said that their hands. I quote them. They said their hands were tied by the COVID laws, which is just which as is we rubbish. Know, not true. That's just a lie. And That's really shocking. Yeah. Really shocking. So I went there on I, I went there on Sunday morning to pay my respects instead of the day. Now that is interesting because then you ended up in the newspapers. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I'm in the Daily Mail. <laughs> Unfortunately, I shouldn't. It's I, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not funny. It's horrifying that they should take a picture horrifying. of you grieving and put it in a There's, in a national it's newspaper. Horrible. The whole of the Daily Mail that I be, I looked at this morning because someone sent me a screenshot of me and then I flicked through and it's just of women crying mm. and it's like some sort of perverse form of ent you know of entertainment and it's yeah. you know like we see with all of these um injustices that have been happening with other you know minority groups and stuff it's just it, it, the media turns it into entertainment and so me crying was shocking the Daily Mail. and I mean and they, they didn't realize you know they didn't say Lily Earl they didn't recognize you no, but they, they just had woman woman sobbing. Oh, but I mean, my friend pointed out they were like they really missed a trick there if they recognised <laughs> you. <laughs> but you know, but that is I mean, it's just such a violation. You you go privately anyway. I guess I the upshot is that all of this will hopefully continue to raise awareness. And you know, it's like I, we were just trying to do with my post on Mother's Day as well um, yesterday. Is just you know have the opportunity to shine a light on some of the things that need changing. Yeah, um, and, 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 I and think moving as forward. Well, it's not to get on my soapbox, but I think what's been really interesting. One of the you are my daughter. You are allowed on your soapbox. You have that soapbox gene. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what has been interesting has been, for me anyway, has been the conversations around language. So when they say 97% of women in the UK have been sexually harassed, it's like or violence, stop violence against women. It's like, actually, hold on. Men, I, and I know it's not all men, but it's some men, and therefore the threat is men. Men have managed to sexually harass nearly the entire female population. And men conduct violence against women. And and I think it's in, that language interests me because it's also part of how um, the stories then played out and then how we turned to victim blaming and shaming and, and, and oh what time was it oh was it dark was her skirt too short all of those things it's like no i'm just walking home i can't i can't i'm just trying to not get murdered like and that's not on me that is on the perpetrator yeah 
Well, you know, you are the new generation, sweetheart, you know, who will, will carry this forward. And uh, I have to say, I was just very pleased and thankful to wake up yesterday morning knowing that both my girls um, were safe and well. Yeah. So let's move on to talking about kind of what we've been doing, I guess, this last year or so. I mean, you've been working in the digi space for for such a long time and this this really came about because you're so badly dyslexic if you don't mind me sharing that I don't mind you sharing that no. <laughs> so talk us through your journey with tech because it's quite interesting I think oh okay sure so yeah so I was diagnosed with dyslexia at nine I think mm. and then from about 10 or 11 onwards once you start writing a lot more in class I was given things like little um electronic spell checkers and things that you can type on and and then eventually a laptop so I was using a laptop in class to take notes while my peers were handwriting them um, and you know dictaphones and all sorts of ways that technology could support my learning um, even all the way through to the end of my degree actually yeah um, and also I started a blog through uni um, I bought I think because of that, I've always been quite computer savvy. Yeah, what happened to your blog? That was Deeper Dazzle, wasn't it? Deeper Dazzle, yeah. Deeper Dazzle, oh my goodness, I'd forgotten about that. So Dazzle, because you are obviously so totally dazzling, but Deeper, because you wanted to look deeper. I mean, even at a very tender age, you were always interested in drilling down into layers of social justice and that kind of thing. Yes, and Dazzle just generally, I think I really wanted to have a positive... um, positive beauty blog and positive you know body positivity blog um yeah i mean and we're talking like you know 10 years ago i know that you know um positive beauty and um you know body positivity and that sort of thing and body acceptance and all that thing is sort of really big on instagram you were ahead of the curve my darling you were leading the pack as usual i just i just i didn't (laughs) want it just to be a fashion blog or just to be a beauty blog Deeper Dazzle, might have to reinvigorate that one. But then then that led you into working more into tech and then you were doing coding, weren't you, at uni when you were doing your teaching degree? Yes, when I did my teaching degree, when they scrapped the ICT curriculum and brought in essentially what is basic computer sciences, even for four and five year olds, Mm. um, obviously taught in an age appropriate way. And um, so I learned all of that and then also learned continue to teach and teach myself and look up online and stuff in my own free time and then someone needed a bit of help with a certain website mm, mm. absolutely we, we certainly did and uh, and you were so helpful for me you were my digital editor for our first few years at Lizelle Wellbeing before then going off and now your heart dialogue which you run with Harry which is doing your audio podcasting yeah. and your creativity and obviously balancing all of that with you know beauty tech interesting you know leading yes. all into light yes. and all of that you know all links doesn't it it's all, all that's it all all your background so what what's your advice for, for people who are doing all these endless calls and things are, are there any sort of special settings that we should be putting on to our our laptops I always get confused about you know sound and screen brightness and all that kind of thing because these are things that you can change aren't they on your computer quite easily you want to make sure it's not too bright um the the best brightness is uh at least i use an apple computer so the best brightness is um you want it about two-thirds brightness or you can go to the top and then go down three go down minus three okay um there's also things like night shift, which you can turn on manually even during the day. They come on automatically at night, which is what makes your screen slightly orange. Um, just to, if you're doing any photo editing, remember to turn it off before you do that. Uh, Good tip for photo I editing. I made that mistake before. And it's then great. all your pictures come out slightly orange. <laughs> yeah. Well, they come out slightly. They come out slightly too. Um, Blue because you're trying to counter. You're counteracting what you think it. Is the orange in the photo, but it's actually your screen. Um, blue light glasses. I know that some people um, um, are selling kind of like 
ones that don't really work on you know certain online platforms and stuff but blue light blocking glasses do work I find them incredibly helpful okay um, and that's good because you've got migraine so you know you, that's yeah, that's so something that you're very sensitive to light anyway which is yeah just and I'm you know well more than unfortunate with the the job that you do working in tech with yeah. with screens all the time and of course you've got do you get that flicker as well yeah so you've got to be careful about the flicker mm. um not that I I don't know what you can everything flickers so I just um give my eyes plenty of rest right and plenty of breaks the ideal rest is uh, every 20 minutes get your eyes off that screen and looking out the window looking off into yeah. the like trying to look into the far distance yeah. um i also have blue light blocking um um screen protectors on my phone so yes you can get those online got, can't you that's really yeah, good you can. um and I just got mine off Amazon. Um, it's great. It does change the color very slightly of your phone, um, but it's about ninety eight percent the same color. Okay. Um, but I do, I do that, and then I have my blue blocking glasses as well. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So you're you're double blue. A couple of questions that I can see actually coming up on Instagram here. How do you record a meeting? So presumably that's on Zoom. I mean, would on you Zoom, say yeah. would you say that Zoom is is the best platform? Because I know when we started as a team here at Lizard Wellbeing, we were using I think Google Hangout, and we didn't we didn't kind of get on with that so well. So I think we all switched to Zoom. Would you say that yeah, that's the kind think, of the best? I think it also depends on your current setup. So some companies are using Google Hangouts because they already use gmail is their email platform and google calendar within the company and stuff so if you're already using those sorts of things within your company then obviously google hangouts makes sense as a as a add-on yeah um and again the same if you're using a microsoft based thing then maybe microsoft teams makes sense but if you have your you know just your own email or you're chatting with friends or something mm. i do personally think zoom is the best yeah. um and recording is really easy on Zoom. There's just a button that you press. Um, you might have to say, like, allow... You might have to go to the preferences and say, allow recording. Right, um, yeah. I mean, I've, 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 I've used it, and there's a little red dot that appears, isn't there? Because I sometimes record yeah. my podcasts on Zoom, or at least I used to. I've now switched to a different platform. Um, yeah. but, but there is a little red dot, so you can see that it's, it's yeah. recording. And I think, you yeah, know, my advice to anybody on Zoom or any of these platforms, actually, is always be aware that you might be recorded. Well, there's something about that. So I also just see that someone is... Um, the other good thing about Zoom is that anyone can join. So the thing I just saw in the comments that someone uses Microsoft Teams, which is great, but to, to use Microsoft Teams, you've got to download the app and stuff. And Whereas Zoom, you can do it through... Your, you can even join through your browser if you don't have the Zoom app on your um, computer. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So supposing you were just, you know, emailing Granny, who obviously yeah. is, well, not obviously, no, but who may not be fully teched up, uh, but you could just email her a link to say, click on this link, and yeah. it'll just magically appear. You don't need to do anything special. That's probably what was the clever clever bit about the people yes. at Zoom, wasn't it? Yes, exactly. Um and then when you say recording, be careful about the little red button. You actually, legally, in the UK, the it, law d d varies depending by country, but in the UK, you have to tell people that you're recording them and okay. get that so they can opt out. So you, it's called two-way acknowledgement, so you, you have to actually tell people that you're recording. And so of course, Lily is the expert on GDPR, and opt in and opt out because when all that started, she was working for me as my digital editor at Lizard Wellbeing. And of course, you know, everybody who signs up to the newsletter, you know, you have to give permission to receive it, how the data is managed and stored and all the confidentiality and the protection. I mean, we never sell data anyway. We wouldn't sell anybody's details for marketing or anything, anything like that. But, you know, you still had to go through this whole manual. I remember you having to write this whole manual on all the, you know, compliance and everything. I so, did, and did the training to everyone. You did. You gave us all proper training. I had to sit in class. Yeah, that was where your teacher training skills were so helpful. Yes, very helpful. Yeah. Now, talk us through the, the lights. I was showing um, uh, here. This is this little gadget, which... We yes. put links, actually, on this. Um, hi, Martha. I should say hi to Martha, who's our editorial assistant, who's manning Facebook today. Um, yes, hi, Martha. 
Nice to see you. Well, see you in inverted commas. Uh, so we put links up. So Martha, you can do links to these kind of things. We put them on Linktree as well, which is in my bio for Instagram. So this is a really handy little gadget because as I always say, it's all about lighting. Okay, it's all about lighting. The reason that this picture, one of the reasons, that because it was also um, Kerry September's amazing makeup, but the reason why this picture looks so good is the lighting. You know, I'm standing in front of a huge... Lighting and concealer. Lighting and concealer. Those are the two things you need, okay? And and a great photographer. I mean, I love, 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 love um, Josh Barrett who, who shot this. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you know, for this, I was standing in front of a huge, great softbox light, which is one of those strong, strong lights with like a, a muslin sort of filter all over it. So it just sort of blurs everything. And the same is true. You can do that for yourself. You can have your same effect either with a little one here. Yes. Yeah. Um, and or this is the one that you might use on a stand. So this is the kind of thing that I'm using here to talk to everybody with. So yes, it's a ring light. A as are you, and then it's got this little phone holder. So if you want to be doing Zoom chats somewhere in the house, like in the kitchen or whatever, and you know, you're just doing it on your phone, or maybe, yeah. you know, maybe you're gonna do an Instagram live, you know, to your friends and followers or whatever on, on Instagram, yeah. then that's the kind of thing that, that you need. Again, we've put links to these if you want this particular one. And I plug yeah. this in because it comes with a little switch like this. So this oh, yes. is um, the kind of on off. But yeah. then you can also change the tone. So I don't know if you can see here, but that's going from yellow to white. I don't know how uh, well yes. that's, yeah, yeah. can, can you just about see that? And, and then you can dim it down or dim it up depending. Yeah. So it's got little dimmable buttons here. So that's warm light dim right down. So yeah. you probably use warm light, don't you? Cause you're very fair. So I use, yes, I use, the slightly colder end of the warm spectrum okay my, yeah so that I'm, I'm moving that one up that's now much much warmer so i yeah. would use that i would also use you can see i mean you can maybe see the difference it makes when i sit in front of it i've got a double yeah. light now you see i mean it really <laughs> <laughs> might just stay like this um <laughs> and then of course it depends on the light that's around you so in the evening you might want to have a bit more light you know, what you don't want, I mean, what I've learned over the years, having my photograph taken many, many times, is you never want to stand under a downlighter to have your picture exactly. taken. So there are actually downlighters above me that I've turned off. You've turned them off. I've, uh, yes, the ones directly above me because they cast shadows on your face. Yeah, never, have sta- never have your on. picture taken under a downlight. You know, the kitchen's the worst. Someone's in the yes. kitchen, they're going, oh, let's take a quick picture. It's like, look up check that yeah. you're not under downlight because you will get exactly. dark dark shadows under here yeah. even if you're age exactly. 12 you'll get dark shadows under there yeah. <laughs> but you do want to have um lights on in other places um i personally prefer it anyway other places in the room or else if you're just using a ring light it can be very then like very stark yeah it's and like you're just get, and yeah. you'll still get those and you'll still get lots of shadowing because there isn't much light within the rest of the room so you want to have kind of atmosphere light plus mm. the light on you so low well. level lighting maybe some lamps that kind of thing around so you yeah. or side lights wall lights would be good wouldn't they because again yeah, so they're they not above kind of slightly, i guess your normal level of lighting and also you don't want i find anyway um because i'm very photosensitive um with my migraines um i find it too much if the light is very contrasting so if the ring, yeah. so if I'm in a dark room with a ring light, it will really hurt. Whereas if I'm in a light room with a ring light, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. How are you feeling today? Mm, I'm okay. You're not okay, are you? I can tell. No, not really. Not it's funny. fine. It's not fine. Well, I kind of, I, I'm feeling okay. I can do things and this is, you know, kind of how I feel most days. So yeah. I'm not bed bound. I'm up and about and able to do things, so... That's a big bonus for me. It is. It is. A um, couple of questions about how we stand. And, you know, one of the things that I always do when I'm having my pitch taken, another little kind of cheap okay. thing, is obviously you want to stand tall. So you want okay. to put your shoulders back. 
and tummy yes, in always. You don't want to stick your chest out. You no, you don't want to be doing this. It's about being I'm up. I'm going to give my Pilates instructor a shout out now. You want to set your shoulder blades down. So it's about pulling your shoulders down, isn't it, rather shoulder than... Shoulder blades down. Yeah. yeah. But you don't want to stick your boobs out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, yeah. And then standing very slightly sideways on is also quite flattering. If you look at all the movie yes. stars on the red carpet, they have one leg forward, extended, and they're very slightly twisted. So it gives you a slightly yeah. leaner shape, but your shoulders yeah, just are sort of forward and your head is slightly at an angle. Do you see, if I put my head at an angle, I've mm. got a, it's a bit more flattering and often kind of looking up. You also want the person taking the photograph just like you're doing, sweetheart. The person taking the photograph wants to be slightly up, okay? So if I show yeah. you on my, so I've got my um, little case here that I normally have my phone in. So, you know, you want to be taking it there. That's why when you see people, photos of people taking selfies, they're often doing that because immediately, yeah. again, the, the light has gone from under your eyes. You're not getting the dark shadows. You don't want to be looking up. You don't want to be head on. You don't want somebody taking it down there because then you just no. get all the double chins. That's terrible. Look like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's not a good look, is it? I wish you could see the face that Lily's just made. You're kind of doing all that double chin thing. But, yes, yeah, so just stand up, slightly twist, stretch one leg out, slight head tilt, Make sure the camera's up like that. And that's the perfect picture with lovely light. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see now Instagram and Facebook flooded with pictures of glorious people. Now, yes. tell us a bit about your work, because I know that, you know, you, you obviously the, the migraine, the chronic pain is ongoing, but there are brighter moments which have enabled you to, to start work back online, particularly, as I said here, yeah. with with cell return and, and i know there's lots of yes. lovely news um Got coming out mask. about that the lovely mask yes. which lives on my bed i have to say i use it every night um a lot of people are very keen uh putting you on the spot here for you to get the installment plan for finance because yeah. it is so expensive how is that at that doing at any program at any progress so on that application is currently with the financial conduct authority Oh, excellent. Um, yes, you have to have been trading for, if your product is over £500, you have to have been trading for at least six months. Okay, great. So there may, so be, there may be an instalment. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, so then once we are approved to allow instalment payments by the FCA, then we can work with, you know, a platform like Klarna or something like that to allow okay. instalments. Yeah. Great. Well, but fingers right crossed. From the very beginning, we've been just waiting for that six-month hit point. Yeah. So yeah, that we yeah. could, um, because we were a new company, they just don't let you do it. Okay, and can we please still keep our Liz Loves 10% discount? Yes. Thank you. Oh, well, <laughs> when, when, you go into, what, when we go into installments? Or, well, well just, just generally, can we just, just you know, keep it on? Because we've got it on everything at the moment, haven't we? Even the one, how, how's the helmet doing that's, that, that re regrows your hair? I know a lot of guys yeah. were really interested in that. Yeah, really interested. We've had, um, yeah, we've had a lot of interest in that and um, a lot of press interest, which is really great. Yeah, um, yeah, no, your press coverage um, has been amazing. Yes. Um, you obviously don't see the results as quickly as you do with the mask. Yeah. Because hair takes longer than, hair turnover takes longer than skin turnover. Um, but it's a very exciting piece of kit. Yeah, um, really. Because it... Um, there's lots of other, not lots, there are several other devices like it on the market, but because we use two different wavelengths of near-infrared, it means it actually penetrates into the scalp where the energy is needed to right. like, reactivate those dormant follicles. Um, and because what happens mostly is red light does do that, but it gets absorbed by any hair that is left on the head. So instead of the energy going into the scalp where it's needed, it gets absorbed by the hair, making the device pretty useless. So that's why ours is kind of really the next generation. Of Yours it. is the one that works. And yeah, I know exactly. also, you know, you because you are your mother's daughter, you are very much evidence-based, which is mm. good. It's the only way to be. Um, yes, you, you, your gadgets... They do have medical licenses, don't they, worldwide? You were just waiting for the EU kind exactly, of, you know... Exactly, yes. So they do have medical licenses in yeah. um, 
lots of places, certainly in South Korea, where they're made, they're medical devices, medical grade devices. I have a feeling they might be in the States as well. But yeah. we are just waiting for um, to be able to say they're medical grade over here because we can't at the moment. They're beauty grade. They're beauty grade, um, but they're not. They are medical grade. They're lovely comment here. We're not allowed to say that yet. Not allowed to say it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just said it. Oh, well, never mind. Um, oh, it's never mind. There, there's one of your. Um, Oh, look, I've got two lovely comments here, which I'm going to read to you. One from a lady whose husband has bought the hair restoring helmet oh, saying, the hair ray. what's it called? The hair alpha ray. The hair alpha ray. Sorry, get it right, yeah. mother. Um, it <laughs> says here, uh, my husband wears his at the breakfast table every morning. Thank God. Good for lockdown. <laughs> Excellent. This is and the time to be doing it. This is totally the time to be doing your home home things. Um, it's cheaper, way more efficient, oh. um, has better statistics, less downtime, you know, than a hair transplant or anything like Well, that. Your, your stepfather, when he's here, you know, wanders around the house wearing it. So, you he know, does. it's... He takes, whenever I, you know, whenever I... I'm seeing him. He always yeah. says, "Can you bring my hat?" Yes. Can you bring my magic my hat? hat? The so. magic hat. <laughs> he hasn't had it for a while, but yes, definitely, he wants <laughs> his magic hat. I uh, told him to buy his own. Honestly, right. Uh, this one also from M says, "My family and I love cell return. The results are incredible. I couldn't oh. believe it when I won the competition for the new Sonic cleanser. I wanted to say thank you so much." Who is that from? M's. M's right oh, on. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. We just messaged them all this morning they've won they've won one of these ah. uh, exactly our new sonic cleansers oh amazing quickly but let's talk about the sonic cleanser because like, that's a new thing and it's and it's much 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 cheaper which is really good so we'll talk about that but just to say trisha here is asking can you briefly explain the benefits of the mask can yes, you can you absolutely. do that in in a nutshell and also is the hair alpha ray good for hair loss in menopause um Yes, almost certainly it would be good for hair loss in menopause. What we do as a, um, I guess, as a service or as an intro to it is you can actually take photos of your hair loss and send it to our team who can take Oh, the medical and, team, yeah. And tell you honestly whether or not we think it's going to help because there are some conditions or where you've lost too much hair where it might not be the best course of treatment or option that's very you. open and honest of you that's great i didn't yeah, know that well we want to serve people well, well there's no um, point in so people buying it and then leaving you a bad review because it doesn't work exactly so, we yeah. know that's not good for anyone that's not good no. for our customers and it's not good for us we, yeah. we want to we want to do the best yeah um in a nutshell the mask the mask okay right very quickly for anybody who hasn't seen it this yes. is mine actually I'll, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll take the cover off so you, you can, can use see, it with or without um, the cover yeah, so it has, um, it uses, it has three different settings. The first one is the red mode. Um, yeah. And that uses red light and near infrared light. Um, it doesn't, fl you'll see that it might It doesn't flicker. Like no, no, in, in real life, this is not flickering. In fact, you can use yours. Sorry, I won't show it to the camera because it'll trigger your migraine again. But no, it, no, it's, it, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Um, but you use this obviously every day and it doesn't, affect your migraine at all. In fact, it helps it. It helps it, yeah, yeah. because the red mode uses red uh, LED light and near infrared light. I and the love it. That, yeah. yeah, the reason that's actually science that, uh, or research that was derived from research from NASA about yeah. cell regeneration. Um, and what it does is it, because it, lots of these devices, again, use red LED on their own. And whilst they are effective, they're not as effective. Um, you need the near infrared the near as well. The near infrared gets yeah. it down into the skin 12 times deeper than red light alone. Yeah. Um, Question here about eczema. So eczema, um, particularly on eyelids, which is quite hard to treat. If you have eczema, then you'd be using the pink mode, wouldn't you? Yeah, so you've got the blue mode, which is for uh, blemishes, spots, This is the acne. blue one controlling um oily skin yeah again it doesn't flicker in real life it's just flickering because it's being shown through a phone screen exactly so really good for acne i mean we know really, somebody really close to us in the family we who's, do he's had amazing results amazing completely cleared quite bad yeah. acne um, um and then yes yeah, so pink, pink is one. anything inflammatory so that is actually that uses a mixture of the red and the blue light and that helps with inflammation so again anything 
like um, eczema or um, psoriasis, uneven pigmentation. Pigmentation, redness. yeah, I, I use that occasionally. Oh. I've got pigmentation up here, these kind of brown spots, which I cover with mm. concealer, and they're definitely fading. Yeah. Definitely. That's I've also brilliant. been using it on my hands. I've been doing yes, my, my, my meditation app. I was doing it this morning in bed here. Um, and I was just putting my mask on and I just put my hands underneath it like that. And I thought, actually, do you exactly. know what? If I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes and do my meditation, I may as well treat my hands. Yeah. And, and, you know, really, really pleased with how it's looking. A yeah. couple of questions here um, about... Uh, do you have to keep your eyes shut? No, that's why it's got eye holes. You can watch TV or whatever. Yeah, um, and they do. It does come? They're not. You don't use them. You find. I you don't, don't use them. them. No. If you have sensitive eyes. Um, we. It does come with eye shields as well. Yeah. That are optional. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can have it, but I mean, you can shut your eyes or keep them open. It doesn't matter. It doesn't harm your eyes in any way. Um, it says, should you put any creams on under the mask? What, what's the protocol with skincare? Because I've been asked this question before. Yeah, so uh, cleanse and um, and then we recommend that you we recommend that you use a hyaluronic acid based serum. We do sell one, um, of course. Um, but, but cheaper ones are available. Yours is lovely, but it is quite are, pricey. If I'm honest, it is. Yeah, cheaper ones are definitely available. Um, but hyaluronic acid, especially if you're yeah. using red mode, because that really helps to hydrate and plump the skin in two directions you're doing it from the inside out with the light and from the outside in with the hyaluronic acid really good but tip actually, so from go on i was just going to say but actually um you just need clean skin just you clean skin you don't, you don't you don't need anything else we recommend then following it with a moisturizer and also if you yeah, use any you. um products with um quite intense active ingredients in them like a retinol based product mm. or something like that make sure you use that after you use it the after but yeah. i think what i do now is because it is really my my nighttime ritual i literally fall asleep with it on because the red light is also very good at you calming do. the brain <laughs> and i sort of snoring gently under my mask and then it, it goes off and then i just go oh i can feel myself in my sleep just sort of taking it off yes. um i just put my moisturizer by my bedside table now instead so i clean my face yeah down, put my mask on on red mode again because it's so great for helping you sleep yeah and then take it off pop some moisturizer on and go to sleep and go to sleep well what i would do is i would use a hyaluronic acid serum so do you think because i am actually quite fast asleep by the time it finishes do you think i could just clean my skin L listen to me asking you for skincare advice i love it uh, <laughs> <laughs> could i clean my skin and then put some hyaluronic acid in a serum on my skin and then just fall asleep do you think yes you could yeah good that is or, what or i'm a, or a, or a nice um you know, gentle moisturizer. Just a simple moisturizer. Yeah, sim simple moisturizer yeah. or yeah. something that's hyaluronic acid based. Again, not a, as long as you don't have ingredients like kind of like the retinol based yeah. stuff. Yeah. You can put it on and then take it off and go to sleep. <laughs> Excellent. Although I have to say, I have used it with retinol creams before because that's that's what I was doing last year. But anyway, so, you know, it just seems to be so it's safe and so gentle. Together. You just don't want to put the retinol onto the skin and then use the mask straight away. Okay, I, I was do doing that. I was obviously doing the wrong thing, but it didn't seem to, have, you know, negatively affect me at all. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's no, just that's what fine. we advise people because if, yeah. some, if someone's got very sensitive skin, then yeah, maybe if your skin is very sensitive, I and mean, you've got to be yeah. careful with retinols anyway. There's actually, if you're interested in retinols, there's a nice piece on the website. Um, there's our well-being. My lovely beauty writer Ellie Smith has written a very good review on retinols. So maybe Martha, you could pop that up, that little link for us. Do you think? Um, now, moving on from the very highly priced uh, aging and pigmentation and all of that gadget to something which is really neat, and this little thing. So this, these, so you had a competition, did you, to win these? Oh, you've got one too. You got a pink one, of course you have. Got a pink one. Yes. I've, I've got a little purple one. So tell us about these and how they work, because when you first said, "Oh, you know, I've got this new thing," it's a little cleansing gadget, and I thought, "Oh, another gadget," you know. But actually, I am so impressed. Good, good. I'm very pleased. <laughs> I really am. And what I love about it, it's so neat because what you do to make it work is you put your fingers in it like that. And as soon as you touch it, it starts to vibrate. Can, can you hear it? Just hold it up for Facebook. Hold it up here. Yeah, I just... Can you hear it vibrating? I'm holding mine by my mind. So, yeah. the, so what you would do here is you'd put your cleanser on your, on your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and then you just rub this over to rub the cleanser yes, in is that exactly. right yes exactly so you just do it in circular motions across the skin i always make sure that i do although it's not designed for any form of massage or lymphatic draining i do make sure you know yeah 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 up upward motions and your skin twin. feels so squeaky clean afterwards and of course the microcirculation yeah. that little current that's going through is helping to improve collagen and elastin and doing a yeah. bit of plumping has your sister tried this because she's really yeah, she into has, her gadgets she, her. she said she's tried it and she came down and she said my we both said the same thing actually asked she said my skin has never felt so clean never felt so so clean I wonder. Yeah. Um, I wonder if she's watching us today. Maybe we could. I know. We could ask and, um, her. We use again, just like we try to be the best. You know, with the mask, for example. You know, we've got over a thousand lights in our mask and whatnot. Yeah. And with this, we're trying to be the best and provide the best on the market. Um, this, mo the current, most of these sort of sonic cleaning devices on the market do about 8,000 um, vibrations per minute. Yeah. And we do 11,000. Oh, aren't you just the best? <laughs> I love it. I've just looked, actually. Brella is online. And didn't is you... She? Yeah, didn't you tell me, as a, as a kind of techie, geeky thing, that the new update on Instagram means that you can yeah. now go live with more than one person? Yes, up to, up to four people. So you can have three guests. Should we try so her? Brella. <laughs> Is this yeah, a shout out for Brella? Go on then. Oh, she's going to hate me. And have, your, and have your cleaning gadget because I think she's got the other colour. Okay, Brella, if, if you're, well, you are listening. Well, I hope you're listening. You are watching anyway because you're online. Can you grab your, grab your gadget? Let me see if I can. Uh, it's Whilst you're doing that, I can just see that a couple of people this are may not work. the price of this. Oh yeah, how much oh, is this? Hi. Hey, it's a Brella in the house. I can't believe I've got Hi. my two girls on the screen at the same time. <laughs> Hi, lovely one. Oh, and you've got your gadget. Have you got, have you got a lemon coloured one? It, it looks like a lemon, actually. Is it a bright yellow one? Yeah, well, I'm going to take, if we all hold it up, I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, let me, let me hold mine up. That's so much fun. How are you, Precious? Sorry? How are you, Precious? I'm very well, thank you. I've just been watching you guys. I'm like, when, when can I join? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can. Now you're going to be pressing that little button all the time, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so lovely to have you here. Sorry, Lil, you were saying that you were, go you were answering a few questions. We didn't get to the crucial thing of how much these little things are. Yeah, they're £49, which and again is also, um, it's, it's very good value yeah. for money based on the other ones that are currently on the market based on the tech and, and do we get our discount even more importantly and you get your dis you've got a discount for Thank liz loves cute just the same the same code liz loves all liz in capitals loves. It works across all pro yeah it works across all products on our cellreturn.co.uk so the hair ray thing the alpha hair ray yeah, the mask yeah, the hair alpha ray, the your hair very expensive mask. hyaluronic acid serum which i was so rude oh, about <laughs> And it's a great oh, serum. I mean, it's got bits of gold in it, for heaven's sake. I mean, it is amazing, but it is it, it is very, very pricey. It is, it is. It's, it's top-end serum. Yeah. It's very, top it's end, very... that's the word. Top yes. end, darling, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, my lovely girls, I can see, um, Lil, you are wearing something um, which I think I gave you from Annie, or rather Annie gave us both. Are you wearing your um, Sanson Reed headband? Yes, I am. Oh, I love it. Do you know... This is um, going to be really fun because she just sent me a box. Just, Ooh. yes. Ooh, says Brella. Because we are all into our headbands. We do also have a Liz Loves uh, on all of these as well. But look at these, the sort of vintagey ones. Oh, love those. Isn't that pretty? And again, you know, really good for all those kind of Zoom calls that we were talking about because you can just change your look so easily. Well, that's so. what I do for because I've got to kind of, you know, curly, you two, I don't know, you've got straight hair, but because I've got a kind of curly, untamed mane. Look at this one. I just, I just put a headband on it. Oh, I love that. Can Isn't you send that... me one? Well, I yeah. send you one. I might do. I think we need, I think we need headband care packages from our mom. <laughs> headband care. That, I feel like a princess in this. Ah, you look this... like a princess. Aww. And look, I see your top. 
No, oh, just my top. This is an, uh, such an old Marks and Spencers top, but I love it. And I've got my little Neroli necklace, which is also on special offer at the moment, using code Neroli, believe it or not. So I love that one. So that's glittery one side. And then, gosh, it does go really well, actually, with this top. Yeah, it goes well. And I didn't plan it, because I've literally just unwrapped it. Let's see what we've got in here. It's like Christmas. What's this one? You're so kind, Annie, to send these and share the discount. Oh, this is nice. This is very sophisticated. I love all these sort of, um, they're like Hermes scarves, aren't they? Yeah, that one's really cool. That is nice, isn't it? Very chic. I can imagine being in London, a pair of black cigarette pant trousers, little jacket. Mm. And what you find, Lil, is that you can wear these, can't you? Even though, because you have such a sensitive head with, with migraine. Yeah, I do. I find there are two brands, really, for headbands that I can wear. These ones from Annie Reed and the ones from um, Choochie Kachu. Choochie Chu. Choochie Chu, yes. Yeah. We, when we did our hello shoot together, uh, that was the stylist, wasn't it? Lovely Arabella. Yeah, she she brought exactly. the Choochie Chu ones. Yeah, oh, really my goodness. Cool. That's uh, rather nice. That would look very nice on you, brother, because it's sort of purpley blue. I oh, love that. It's my that is yours is it okay oh no actually i quite like that i think that would look very nice in the evening for when we are soon to be allowed to go back out you know if you just you could just tong your hair a little bit and just do that it would look great with short hair long hair that's the thing you can you know you can use it on short hair brella i'm sorry darling i think i'm gonna have to keep that one but maybe you can borrow it maybe when you come home and maybe I can tempt you home with some headbands when you're allowed to. Oh, and this, oh, this is actually, this is quite a youthful one. I think this would probably suit you girlies maybe more than me, but it's like embroidered. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Let me tempt you with that They one. all look like a lot of time has been spent on each one. Yeah, they do. They and do. you know, they're not expensive. I think her headband started about £12. So That's for something really that, that looks, yeah. you know, so... You know, I mean, I can imagine going on to net a porte or something and looking at things like this that would be, you know, £100 or more. I think yeah, she does... I was just thinking, you know, like, uh, they look like anthropology ones, which start at, you know, £40 or something. Yeah, and you get Liz Love, so you get 10%. All her accessories, yeah. so her well, belts and um, things like the headbands. It's just Liz Love's. Yeah. So, and last but not least, what is this one? What is in this little package? What did she get? My goodness. I know. Oh. You can't, yeah, you can't oh my goodness! And she sent a beautiful belt. Wow. Oh, that's really fun. What colour is it? Red. No, it's kind of like a suede belt with um, uh, with brass little oh. holes. I wonder if I can stand up and show you. Oh, how it's going to work. Yeah, I like that too. Oh, but I, I quite yeah. like that because you can. Kind of like a cowgirl look. Oh, yes. It's kind of like a modern take on something. Obviously, you wouldn't That's necessarily really wear, cool. it, wear, wear it with this, but... I'd like a belt and a headband, please. You'd like a belt and a headband, would you? Well, darling, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I shall keep it in mind, shall we say. we got Easter coming, haven't we? Maybe instead of having Easter eggs, we can have Easter headbands. <laughs> oh, yes, Easter headbands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, my darlings. And how, Brellington, how are you doing on your vitamin D? Have you got plenty? Do you need me to send you more? You've just, um, I've just received some. Good. But I'm taking a lot. I'm worried if I could overdose because I'm taking a lot. Yeah. But is, is that fine? Well, um, as I said on my podcast, which I'm sure you've listened to, because I know you avidly pay attention to everything that your mother puts out into the ether. Of course. <laughs> So the podcast that I did the week before last, I think, with Dr. Tina Piers, talking about vitamin D, she highlighted this website, which is called vitamindforall.org. And if you look at that, a couple of things which will be interesting for you. One is it has over 200 leading academics from all over the world. These are top of their research professions and organizations. They're leading professors. Uh, research scientists, immunologists, all of that. And it lists the amount of vitamin D that they take personally. They've signed up to this thing. 
um, to call for greater levels of vitamin D, and many of them are taking 10,000 international units, 20,000 international units. So, right. you know, so that shows, um, you know, what, what they think about it. And what was really fascinating as part of that podcast, and you'll find this information on that website, is that when they came to do the recommended daily amounts for vitamins, when they were doing vitamin D, they got the decimal point in the wrong place. So apparently we should all be taking 10 times more than the recommended daily amount. So why that has never been rectified is something that I'm going to be looking at a bit more closely. I think I'm going to try and find one of the world leading experts here and specifically talk about vitamin D because we know it's so helpful um, yeah. in helping to um, keep people out of intensive care, for example, with COVID and supporting the immune system. And vitamin D is also, you know, has a more of a hormonal activity, really. Um, and as you found, Brella, when you did your Life Code GX report, mm. you block vitamin D. So you need more anyway. You need way more than the rest of us because you're blocking it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I do take a lot. So what, um, what's a lot? What, what, what are you taking at the moment? Well, this morning I was kind of like, I didn't really count. I was, cause, because the thing is, when I get to the end of the bottle... I'm kind of like, I just want to finish it. So I, Just squirting I mean, I away on your better you. I, I have sent you the better you ones because we get the Liz Loves discount on that. So I think it's a really good spray. That's yeah. the one I did as well. Yeah. You usually take five to six sprays. This morning I probably took more. But I mean, that's quite a lot. That's like over 20,000. Is it? No, so the, what, no, they recommend two two sprays as three thousand. I know this because I've just reviewed, having listened to the podcast, my own vitamin D intake. Two squirts is three thousand international units, so I now take four. So no, I've got six. I have one spray as three thousand. Oh, well, are, are you I sure? Have, have Have you read the pack? One spray is three thousand. But you know, the, but these guys are are taking lots, and I think they're not necessarily blocking it. You know, through your Life Code GX report, yeah. that you do not process vitamin D. You know, you need no, this extra. It. You you don't transport it, Lil. You have the gene. I don't absorb it very well, so I'm on about six thousand international units every day. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to say. You know, since reviewing all my nutritional status, I have never felt better. Um, and I just yeah. think that there are certain specific things. So I think for anybody who's really interested, I mean, clearly to get a genetic analysis is the only way to know really whether you're absorbing it. Because yes, you can go for blood tests for vitamin D and that is good because it shows the amount of vitamin D that's freely circulating around your body, which is Lily's case. So... Um, so you are, are you circulating it but not absorbing it? I can't remember which of us is, is which way round. No, I'm not circulating. I don't transport it. You don't transport it, okay. I've got la lazy, lazy, a lazy bus. Lazy you've vitamin you've got bus. The, the, the lazy slow bus, whereas yeah. I transport it really well. So my vitamin D is whizzing around my body, you know, in a Ferrari going, you know, really, really well. So if I had a blood test, it would show that my vitamin D levels, you know, are you know, it's all in my blood, it's all fine. But the two genes responsible for processing it have variants, which means that they're not processing it very well. So yes, I've got lots of vitamin D in my bloodstream, but it's not being processed very well. And that's what I discovered with my Life Code GX. So therefore, I take extra to supplement that so that, you know, what I, whatever I've got is being absorbed. If, say, 30% of what I normally have is being used then by having more, I'm actually going to bring my levels up to, to a normal amount. Umbrella, when you did the test, I, uh, <laughs> you have no transportation and you have no absorption. Yeah. You were like red, red, red. I know all of those who, who've already done the, the testing will, will be familiar with this now because when you get your report back, it, it's like a traffic light system. So it shows red, amber, green on how your genes are working. And, you know, sometimes it's completely green, it's all fine, and, you know, you know that that's all tickety-boo. Sometimes it's a mixture of, of green and yellow, so you need to be cautious. 
but you for vitamin D, you were you were just red all the way. You were blocking, so that's why you started to take a load more to get over that. You had to overload your system for it to even absorb small amounts. And tell us how quickly did it take to make a difference to you when you first started taking high doses of vitamin D? I mean, like, I probably woke up the next day feeling better. I mean, it was it was so quick, instant. And when you say better, can you describe what what did that mean for you? I think just more positive, more energy. I kind of woke up with like a clearer head. Um, I just kind of felt much more ready for the day. And yeah, positivity, I think was a real big thing. Like I kind of woke up and I was like, let's go, get the day. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And actually, yeah. you, you're not known for that within this family. <laughs> no. I mean, your, your, your spiritual animal is, is a sloth, well, I seem to remember. I'm just, just going to leave. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, don't go. Don't go, darling. <laughs> L- L- Lily's spiritual animal is a giraffe because she's kind of just so tall and graceful and and I'm a sloth. And, well, you're not a sloth, <laughs> darling. But you, but you, you, you did, you did identify as a sloth. I do. I mean, your favourite position is horizontal. It has to be said. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Fine. I, I can just appreciate sleep but I'm still young my body is still yeah 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 you're developing. right yeah yeah <laughs> and talking about sleep you also get better sleep now too don't you taking vitamin d I do yeah I also take magnesium as well and that... a b complex and a b complex yeah good well we, we should probably <laughs> end this here because I've been chatting now for gosh an hour I can't believe where the time goes Thank you very much, my darlings, for joining me. Thank you, Brella, for, 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 for flicking on. That was um, an unexpected pleasure. And I know yeah. that yesterday we were all Zooming, actually. I managed to um, get all five of my children on the, the same Zoom call, which has never happened before. No. Wasn't no. that just so nice? It's, yeah, um, it worked well. Yeah. It did. It was lovely. Someone's just asking about blue blocking glasses. Is there anything, Lil, that you could recommend quickly? Any particular brand? Um, or I, I want to buy some as well. You want yeah, to get some, so yeah. I got, I got mine off a certain large online retailer. Um, but I think um, my friends, lots of my friends are using Easy Peasies. It's felt like I said, said, I, P. I Z Z I. Okay, easy peasy. Easy All right. peasy. Yeah. Great. And they, they do um they do um sunglasses and prescription glasses all online, but they also are now doing just um blue light blocking ones. Just a well. blue light. Yeah, I think always read the reviews on this kind of thing and just, you know, make sure that it's the real deal. Yeah. So uh, no yeah, yeah, easy peasy comes very highly recommended. Yeah, excellent. All right, my lovely girls, what have you got planned for the rest of the day? Sorry, let's just do a quick personal catch up before we, while I've got you. Are you, are you staying in the studios, Lil, or are you heading home? No, I'm going to head home via the park to walk Baz. He's next oh, to me. Hey, Baz, do you want to say hi? Hello, Basil. Oh, Basil. Baz. <laughs> hey, sweetie she pie. She doesn't understand screens. No. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, and. Um, All right, yes, my so sweet. I've got some work to do, and then I'm going to go and see a friend for COVID distance walks. COVID distance and, walks, yes, lovely. Yes, and I'm going to do some Pilates as well, I think. Okay, great. Are well, you going to be online with Natalie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Give her my love, won't you? Say hi I from me. Do. I, I will do, I will. haven't seen her for yeah. too long. All right, my darling. Brellington, what's life hold for you this afternoon? Have you got online tutorials? Well, and... yeah. I've got my work to do. My laptop decided to crash on me this morning, so oh. I haven't managed to come back yet, which is really annoying. That's... And I've got my um, GCSE tutee who I tutor this afternoon. So... Oh, lucky. What what subject are you tutoring? Uh, this one's English language. We just kind of go through past papers and things. Great. Great. That reminds me. <laughs> I, 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 I need to talk to your brother about his A-level <laughs> revision. Okay, an e- English tutor, GCSE English. There you go. <laughs> You're not allowed to advertise your wares on my platform. 
<laughs> All right, my lovely girls. Thank you. I think you have to leave me because I think for some reason I can't get rid of you. Not that I want to, okay. but I think you have to click off. Bye. bye, everyone. <laughs> bye. Bye, my bye. lovelies. <laughs> See you again soon, I hope. Bye, sweethearts. Oh, I hope you enjoyed listening to them, even though you couldn't see them. You could hear some of the chat that was going on. And yeah, lots of useful, fun things. So I'm going to head off now. Um, just to say that we do have lots of questions were coming in about the little notebooks. Yes, they are up online now. So if you wanted to grab those, they're £7.50 for the little set of three. Uh, but you can get a free one if you want to order your yearbook two, which I sign. Um, and then you get your set free. But they are now up online. If you want them with or without the book, you can get them either way. So that is it. I'll be back tomorrow on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed to the Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel, please do, because I've got a recipe going online that you will not want to miss. It's a real good one. It's an Easter special. So I just wanted to get it up there and share it with you right away. Uh, and I'll be back here live on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook on Wednesday. So I shall see you then. Thank you. Lovely to see you all. Thanks so much. Thanks for all the hearts. Sending lots of hearts back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of love. Stay well. Bye.